How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Dean Bass. Wow, it's been a while since I've been on this platform. It's been a while since I've seen you guys. Hey, today we are going to learn how to set up your ice fishing combo. Let's get right into it, then I'll update you guys on what's going on. There's a few things out there that you can use to set up your ice combo, but I'm talking about budget-wise and accessible-wise. Like You can just go to the hardware store and find these things and set up your ice fishing rod and reel for the year. And it's been working really well for me as long as you do it correctly. One, two, three, easy stuff anybody can do it anybody you can go out and buy it it's right there on the shelf and you can have yourself a good ice fishing season okay so there are four things that you need to accomplish this setup and it's very simple let's go through it first you need an ice fishing rod right here i have the d-ing bass chill series for whitefish rod from bass king okay then you'll need a spinning reel this is the pissifun carbon x 500 500 means no smaller size. This is perfect for ice fishing. It's lightweight. It's only 5.1 ounce, 8.1 pounds of drag. So it's plenty, and plenty of power for you to fish for panfish, even for walleyes. Okay, and um, it's a great little reel. Check it out on the website. I'll let the thing play right here. Use my code. That way you get save yourself some money. The reel is already on sale, so make sure you guys use my code to get another extra 15% off to save yourself some money. So that's the reel right there. It's a great little reel. It's affordable. And it's very stylish so uh, make sure you guys check it out on pissfun.com next you would need electric tape okay you can find this just about any hardware store even walmart uh target too i believe but check out menards uh fleet farm farm and fleet those areas they should have a bunch of these last but not least scissors you just need scissors that's it so those are the four materials so let's get right into it so a little explanation here of why i have these two electric tape on my cork handle already okay this is actually from last season if you guys watch my old videos um i leave these on here okay it's simple all you do is put electric i put white on here but all you do is put electric tape on one end and then you measure it with the reel okay you just measure where it ends where it meets and where it ends and then you just tape that section right here too so this stays on this never comes off okay never comes off unless you feel like renewing it but i never take it off it's always on there to protect the cork when you put the uh, reel and the next electric tape on there. So when I go and put that reel on there with the new uh, tape, um, the tape will just sit on top of the electric tape and it won't damage the cork. I'll show you guys and then it'll make sense once I'm done. Because I have a black reel here, right? A darker reel, black reel. I'm going to use black tape, okay? Like I said, black is just all, all around. You can use just other like red tape, white tape, um, yellow tape. But today we're just going to use black because I wanted to match my reel. So um, here we go. First off, I'm going to see if I can do this like up here. Okay, it's kind of weird because you kind of want to go down and like strap it down here. So I might have to stand up too. So let's see here. Ah, sorry, I cut my nail a little too close. So it hurts. About, I don't know, you guys say what? four inches five inches all right take your reel set it right where the end of the rod is like I said, i'll try to do this while sitting in this position it's kind of weird make sure it lines up from the bail here to the first guide okay what's nice is that because my reel sat on here before, it has that marking on here. So now I can see perfectly of what's going on. Okay, I think that's it right there. Like I said, it's kind of weird. I have this light also beaming in my eyes, so it's hard to see. Okay, so I think right there should be perfect. Okay, so now what you want to do, hold it down a little bit. I'm going to stand up so it makes more sense. I'm going to tape it. Okay, right at the end, tape it down, pull, and wrap. So simple, okay? Boom. Look at that. Pull and wrap, okay? And you can do a second one too, which I'm going to do that. Just I'm just going to do that for now to hold it in place, okay? So that's what it looks like. You see that? Oh, gotta hide my face so I focus okay same thing we're gonna do for this portion right up here okay this little stance here I'm gonna stand up so I can do it correctly for you guys same thing just 
start it right by the tip here. So my hand is blocking it, but you guys kind of have an idea, right? All right, so now again, just tape it onto the, the base of the reel. Just pull and wrap, okay? And you pull and wrap, it's gonna stick onto the, the tape. Just like so, okay? All right, sweet. There you go. So that's what it looks like. It's very simple. It doesn't take long at all, okay? Again, if you want to, you can make two layers of extra tape to secure, right? What you don't want to do, what you really don't want to do is tape your whole handle. Why? That just builds up so much moisture uh it's gonna make that tape itself eat the cork like it's gonna slip because there's a lot of moisture and water when you're touching the fish or touching ice or snow and you're grabbing onto this doing it this way you limit the moisture build in the cork okay you're just you semi get this part wet and this part wet but again you don't want to seal up this whole cork with the whole cork itself just building a ton of like water and moisture and there's nowhere for it to release so i've been doing this for the past four or five years now and i've had any issue with doing this way like it's again it's affordable you can find it just about anywhere and this is how i set up my ice fishing rod and reel like this is you know it's all you need like i mentioned earlier there's a ton of materials out there you can use but i'm speaking from the perspective of, you know what, what can I find at the store that's affordable, like two, three dollars, and you can set up right away. If you already have the rod and reel, you can set up right away and go fishing like the next day. So uh, this is what I like to use. It's nice and flush. It can sit in rod holders. It doesn't have like a bumpy ride when you hold it or use it. It's nice and, like I said, it's nice and flush, it's sensitive. So this is how I like to set up my fishing rod and reel. So, and do what I just showed you you'll have yourself a very successful, easy going, comfortable fishing combo right here. All right guys, so that is it for today. I thought I'd make a video, a quick video for you guys to show you guys how I set up my guys combo, but I do want to update you guys. Uh, no, I have not stopped fishing, that I am okay, okay? It's just, uh, you know, it's, it's the holidays, Thanksgiving, going out to Christmas, a lot of friends and family and gatherings and meetups, you know, stuff like that, which is good, you know? This is the time of the year where you should be reaching out and thinking of others and spending time with people. So. Um, yeah, that, that's where I've been, you know, I've, I've been okay. We have we don't have any ice yet. I'm with you guys. I've been dying. You guys see my posts on Facebook and Instagram. I've been waiting to do some freaking ice fishing, but with this crazy weather, we haven't had any ice. So unless I drive like five, six hours north, but it defeats the purpose of this channel for you to educate you guys around this area. Um, it would be nice to go up there, but then again, I'm, I'm going away from you guys and um, I feel bad if I do that. So, so I'm good, I'm okay, doing self-care, been working out, you know what I mean? Uh, make sure I can pull those sleds and stuff like that. Uh, just taking care of myself, taking care of my family, my friends, and you know, just being with them and that's what matters to me. I will see you guys very soon. Um, hopefully we can fish by the end of this month. I, I don't know, like I don't know what's going on. It's, it hasn't been cold, but next year, next month for sure, which is January, 2024, we will be ice fishing. With that being said, hopefully you guys learned something today. Make sure you guys check out PCFun.com com get yourself a nice reel it's christmas coming up so you use my code save yourself some money get somebody a reel or anything on that website and i'll see you guys next time peace